Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are going to be working on this gorgeous little swatch. Now um, as you know the reason we are doing little swatches is because um, we are going to start the honey cow soon and we are learning a few stitches that we are going to use in the honey cow. Let me get a nice little close-up of this one here. How gorgeous is this? You probably can't tell too well, but it has like a mirror imaged effect. This stitch itself is double crocheting in the front loop for the first stitch. Your next stitch is double crocheting in the back. Double front, double back, double front, double back, all the way until you get to the end. And the last stitch in this case ended up to be a double crochet in the back loop. Now every time we turn, we need to do the opposite to what we did in that row. Okay, well, when I say the opposite, that last stitch there end up to being a double crochet in the back loop. So when you chain up your two at the beginning of the row and turn this around or turn it around, chain up two, your first stitch will be double crocheting in the front loop. So all you have to remember in this swatch is to do the double crochets in the front loop at the beginning of each row and then the double crochet in the back loop at the end of each row and then so on. Anyway, I'll be explaining it properly to you in the tutorial. The yarn we are using today, my favourite, my very, very favourite, which is the Stella Range by Bendigo Woolen Mills. Uh, this is called Rose Quartz. The actual colour is not my favourite, um, but the actual Stella Range is my favourite. So that's all I'm going to talk about with that. It actually calls for a six millimetre hook and those glows up there. And so we are going to use a six millimetre hook I'm going to use this one here. It's nothing fancy. It's just a hook that I found in my stash. So I'm not going to talk anymore. Let's just get started. Alrighty, guys, we're going to move this out the way. All right. So basic stitches. You are doing chains. You are doing double crochets and you are doing double crochets in front loops and back loops. OK, so first thing we need to do. Oh, sorry. Also, the slip knot <laughs> is a slip knot. Now, with a slip knot and any one of those stitches I just mentioned, if you're not sure how to do them, I do have tutorials on them. I'll pop them in the description box down below, the links to those, actually. Um, and you can go ahead and have a practice and come back to us. In the meantime, we're going to start yarn over the finger once and yarn over the finger twice. This is how we're forming our slip knot. Nice and basic. Yarn over halfway. Hold it there. And the other one all the way over. Pop your hook in and we're using a six millimeter hook today which i think i mentioned in the promo so you're going to chain up stitches now chain is a yarn over hook pull the loop through once yarn over hook twice three four five six seven eight nine ten 11. Now ordinarily I would say to chain up more but we're just practicing the stitch. Actually you know what we'll pop in another um, we'll pop in another four. One, two, three, four. Okay so yarn over your hook once. We are now going to form a double crochet in your third stitch from the hook. So there's your first, second and there's your third. So a double crochet is yarn over hook Pop it in your space, yarn over hook, pull up a loop, yarn over hook, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over hook, pull through the other two loops on your hook. I think we've messed up. One, two, three. No, we didn't. There we go. All right. So I'm going to get a close up of it for you again so you can see. Now this row is going to be basic. It is going to be double crochets in every stitch across. So just pop your hook in your very next stitch. You're going through the two loops. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over hook, pull through two. And then through another two. Okay, you've done double crochets before, guys. Um, so you can go ahead and finish this row. Although I'm going to do it with you because we don't have many stitches. So I can't wait to introduce the honey cow to you. And this is one of the basic stitches that I'll be using in the honey cow. Now with the honey cow... I'll be using different stitches in different sections of the cow. Ooh, <laughs> this is one um, basic one, but there will be other sections, other stitches. So you won't actually be using the starting chain for the honey cow. You won't be using any of these because I would have already started the cow. 
Okay, so all you have to do is follow the actual cowl instructions, which is going to be very basic. And yet it will be fiddly, like this stitch coming up is a little bit fiddly, but not much. It's fiddly for the, the newcomer, and it's okay, you guys can do this. Okay, nearly there. I probably should have just got you to <laughs> finish off the row yourself and met me up. It doesn't matter, we're right here now. Two more stitches, I think we've got to go. One and two. Okay, now here's the part where we need to focus, okay? So we're going to turn our work like so. Chain up two. One, two, not three, we're only chaining up two. We're going to yarn over hook. Now, you've done, with. if you've been with me before, worked with me before, you'll know how to do back loop and front loop. If you're not sure, I'll just show you quickly now. These are the little V stitches formed from your stitch. All right. Now, ordinarily, when we do a double crochet, we pop the hook between both stitches. However, we're going to pop it through the front stitch. And then the back stitch, front, back. And I'll show you that right now. So each stitch, oh, if I can get the hook up, sorry. Hello, wake up, Mary. Here we go. Sorry, guys. Okay, so yarn over hook. Now we're not going to do this stitch here because this is your two double, two doubles. This is your two chains. So we're just going to do the very next stitch, which is there. And we're going to pop it through the front loop. Of your next stitch so we're doing a normal double crochet but we're doing it in the front loop one then we're going to do the next double crochet in the back loop which is there okay do you double crochet like that and now you're going to go through your double crochet goes through the front loop little bit fiddly this first row once you get the rhythm the pattern itself back loop now so all you have to do is remember front and back so front and back front and back There we go front and back front are we getting to the end of the row and back and you're just going to pop a Double crochet in the top of that chain right there. There we go. All right, now we turn our work. All right, chain up two, one, and two. Now remember, we ended off with a back loop right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is start with a front loop. So you're putting the front loops on the back and the back loops on the front. From the row before I'm hoping that makes sense so initially we started the row with a front this is actually how to explain it we pop that in the back loop there so when we turn it over that one right there we're going to pop your hook in the front loop okay your next one will be the back loop and the next one will be the front loop I'm looking at this pattern I'm um, actually looking at this yarn. It's probably not the right yarn to choose to show you this pattern, but it's okay. It'll still look good. It's just that it's kind of gappy, you know, and it, with this stitch, it's more of a solid stitch rather than a gappy stitch. But that's okay. It's, a, it's all good. It's okay. All right. Now let me show you what you've done so far. Okay. So what you're going to get is that kind of a ridged look. On one side and the ridged on the other side it's more like a mirror image if you look at it this way or that way you're looking at it as a mirror image okay so what I want you to do do um, this row about oh no just com we'll complete it we're right here we were in the back we're going to the front 
that's the joy of doing um, only a few stitches guys you can just keep going and I don't have to pause the camera too many times for you probably wasn't the right hook to use either I should have used one of my um, clover soft touch they're a lot easier to work with I think um, that was back or front back front back and front no back front whoops I'm sorry back front back oh I nearly made a mistake didn't I <laughs> all right front and back and we are going to put our last double crochet in that chain the very first chain that we started off with and there you go now this is a back a back loop here so when we turn it over and we chain up one and two we are going to put it in the front loop of it okay so all you're doing initially is when you turn the row around you are popping the next stitch in the opposite side of the stitch that you worked in on the other side I'm hoping that makes sense okay and I'll show you in a minute how this is going to look now I've done a beanie for a baby um, for a photographer quite a few years ago in this stitch and it does um, I have to admit it is a bit of a yarn eater but the whole of the cow that we make is not going to be in this stitch so don't stress too much um, it's just part of the cowl. The cowl itself is going to have many different stitches in it, okay? And this is the second stitch that we're popping in the cowl. There will be a third and a fourth stitch, okay? Pretty exciting, huh? Well, that's the joy of doing something that's unusual, you know? Step away from the norm and try something different, I think. Okay. One more in the back loop right there like so and then one in the chain stitch which is nice and tight for me <laughs> oh gosh you guys know me don't you by now all right what I want to show you you can have a quick look at it see how gorgeous this stitch is looking now if you put it on the side let me get it a little bit close up it looks like it's a mirror and there's Right in the middle there, it's looking at this side. It's looking at this side. So it's kind of ridged on one side. And on the other side, also ridged. It is gorgeous, this look. Okay. If you wanted to do it the other way, where you did all front loops and then all back loops, all fronts, all backs, all fronts, whatever, you can actually do that too. That works well with the scarf that we are doing or the cowl that we are doing. But in the meantime, this is the stitch I would like to use as our second stitch. And all I'm calling it is the honey stitch second stitch for honey cow okay go ahead and do about i don't know four more rows and then come back and we'll have another look okay now i'm not sure if i did three rows or four rows but it doesn't really matter but what matters is you can actually see the ridging on the sides okay now i learned a little trick whilst i was in the middle of all this always in this case not in the cow when we're doing it but in this case you always start your row off with a front loop ending with a back loop turn around start front end back turn around and so on and so on the cow will probably consist of this stitch the most okay now the reason is because it's a warm stitch it fills up all the gaps are fill, filled in so during winter you can be kept warm so there you have it guys double crochet in the front loop and double crochet in the back loop all the way across turn and so on and so on and so on until you get to your desired length okay so thank you so much for watching and uh, don't forget guys the cow the honey cow is coming this is going to be the stitch that we use mostly throughout the actual cow itself there will be other stitches and you'll see those and they are going to be gorgeous 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 um, but in the meantime this is what we worked on today thank you so much for watching and guess what guys <laughs> ciao for now